The one question we've all been trying to answer for years. Which is truly better, anime or manga? As we all know, they both go hand in hand most of the time, as nearly most anime once started as manga. And we all know that both of these mediums are great, but which is ultimately better? So I thought, why not take a crack at this age old question? With the help of an amazing fellow creator by the name of Reef, on which is truly a better medium. Of course, we all know anime is more mainstream, and it isn't for no reason. It's much more accessible, where all you really have to do is load up either Crunchyroll or Netflix and just start watching. Of course, you can also do this with manga with the Shonen Jump app. But it requires a lot less effort, and not to mention you can be doing other stuff while watching it. For example, grinding away on your favourite game, or cooking up a banger of a meal, or watching your favourite silly little guy talk about anime. While you watch anime. Just overall, doing something completely different while your anime is playing in the background. Something you can't really do with manga as it takes all your focus. The pacing situation really helps too. It plays at the speed that it was made to be consumed. You can't really start flipping pages like a madman and reading twice the speed of light with anime. And of course, it goes both ways. You won't find yourself staring at the same page for 5 straight minutes before moving on. Which can be seen as a positive to some people as they want to really appreciate the panels, but in my opinion it should be consumed at a steady pace so you can avoid ruining some tense moments at some points. But I will admit, missing out on those little arcs sometimes is kinda stinky. Uh -oh. And yet, I do be doing the same thing myself where I just stare at the same panel for 5 straight minutes just absolutely amazed by the art. But come on, I'm trying to convince you here, so let's just play along. Talking about the tense moments, they're only amplified with music and anime. Like you can't tell me the intro for the first half of season 2 for Jujutsu Kaisen doesn't get you in the mood for the show itself. Most of the time, it just amplifies the show to a whole nother level. I can't remember the last time the soundtrack made my experience worse. Of course, I can't move on without praising Tokyo Ghoul's intro. For being one-off, if not the best song ever made for an anime. It was performed by Toru Kitajima. Clearly made with love too, as he read the manga before he was asked to cook up the now iconic song. And while we're at it, I want to quickly mention my personal favourite, Black Rover, by Vicky Blanca. Which is the intro for Black Clover Season 3. Truly a banger, they're both on the same level of peak in my humble opinion. I can't mention the soundtrack without bringing up the sound effects too, they go hand in hand really. They can also really sell you on a fight scene sometimes, and even make the fight scene work even better than in the manga. There's plenty of anime that use sound effects well, but I feel like this is the best example of this. <laughs> Bam, bop, bada bop, boom, pow. The fight, of course, is in the forefront, but both the music and sound effects only amplify the intensity. Without the sound effects, all their attacks would feel a lot more dull. But with the bass, especially the finishing blow, it really puts in perspective how hard these punches are. Both the soundtrack, sound effects, and animation have the power to completely change the whole feel of a moment. This can really help you get completely immersed in the show and the story as a whole, all because of these little details. These details can also be seen in the animation itself, a great example of how it can elevate not only the story, but how powerful some characters come across would probably be Demon Slayer. As you know, this show is well known for having some of the cooler looking fights, but overall having amazing animation and keeping it colourful which is a big difference if you compare it to the manga. And you can't tell me the manga is better, yet of course we miss some arcs in the anime, but it really pays off with the animation. The colours, the vibrance, the smoothness, the action, it's truly a different world. Of course I'm not saying the manga is bad, but what I'm getting at is the anime especially during the action moments truly wins. Another thing that people will most likely notice during an anime is the voice acting, which brings us to another age old question. Sub or dub? Of course, sub is the way to go most of the time as the voice actors really give it their all. The most iconic name and voice in the anime industry, at least right now, would probably be Kenjiro Tsuda, the voice behind Nanami Kendo from Jujutsu Kaisen, Kishiba from Chainsaw Man, and many other characters you probably heard in voice. This man's voice is just insane and perfect for the anime industry. This man can make a Merry Christmas tweet and people will go apeshit in replies. Merry Christmas. Of course, this can go both ways, as the dub, on the other hand, can completely ruin a moment. Tell this 
asshole, if he wants to learn how to make my product, he's gotta do it my way. I speak English. So you understand what asshole means? I'm not saying dub is terrible, as I've watched some anime which works so much better in a dub form. A good example of this would be Ghost Stories. This anime did pretty well in Japan, but terrible in the West. The voice actors decided to ad-lib the whole show and not stick to the original script, resulting in some hilarious moments. I think she's right. You are retarded. I know now that it could never work between us. As much as we wanted to, it could never be. Not because you're a rabbit, but because you're black. They end up seeming so out of place that a lot of people who watched the dub version came to the conclusion that it's a fan-made dub, but in reality, it's the legit version. Some of these jokes wouldn't fly today, but I'm gonna admit, I'll crack up laughing most of the time. So in conclusion, I think anime is a much better medium. Not only because of the animation, but all the other little details that come with it. It's also much easier to find time to watch it while you do other things unlike manga where you really have to lock in. So if I couldn't sell you why anime is better, Maybe Reef can convince you why manga is the better option. Manga, on the other hand, is simply the much better medium. With infamous anime being adapted from manga, the source material is where the beauty of the series really shines. Take Tokyo Ghoul by Sui Ishida, for example, a fantastic manga that was fucked over due to Studio Peria not animating Tokyo Ghoul Re according to the actual plot and misinterpreting moments within the series. This poorly done animation had ruined the reputation of what is in my eyes the best manga of all time. Take a look at this panel of the final fight of Tokyo Ghoul Re. Now, look at its anime counterpart. Need I say more? Not only do manga contain every single bit of detail that the creator of the series wanted, as, well, they are the ones that wrote it, manga is packed with details simply from its medium, and each and every mangaka has their own unique and innovative art style. The animation of a respective studio is going to inevitably pass over into all of the anime that they adapt, which isn't necessarily their fault, but in order to experience a series in its true intended way with every ounce of detail that the author wishes to be in the series without animation studios taking them out, as well as experiencing the raw art and way that the author wished for the events to be expressed through art itself, manga is 100% 100% the way to go. Sure, you can make the argument that manga is boring, because, well, it is reading after all, and nothing is happening, it's quiet with nothing moving. My question to you is, have you ever heard of music? Or headphones? You know, technology is so advanced now that with a click of a button, you could have yeet blasting in your ears in less than a second. So if you won't read manga because it's too quiet and you feel as though nothing is happening, try listening to music. It elevates any manga to much greater heights and makes for a much more immersive situation. Some of the most renowned series within mediums in Japan are manga. Take arguably the most popular and prominent manga of all time, Berserk by Kentaro Miura. The series is praised highly not only for its fantastic illustrated artwork, but also due to the in-depth storytelling and the ever-ongoing unfolding of the plot and lore as the series continues. This manga has been adapted into anime a few times, and well, let these scenes speak for themselves. Yeah, definitely not meant to be animated, which is why I will always choose to read a manga over watching an anime. You can't get the same experience from watching an anime instead of experiencing the raw intended source material. You can always make the argument that anime will always beat out manga because it's much more accessible, which is most definitely true, but there are over a thousand different websites that you can read manga on, and sure, it might take some time to get adjusted to the new medium, but I found that for me personally, having a good playlist playing in the background that matches the overall tone of the manga I am reading makes me utterly and completely invested into whatever is happening, and I tend to enjoy it over watching an anime. It's much quicker, and I think it's just much more enjoyable. Before I give it back to Fatsky, I want to quickly say one last thing, and that it's that there is so much you can do with animation where illustration will beat it out. It is very difficult to animate a very in-depth manga panel and continue the animation throughout more than one single frame, which, as we all know, many animation studios fail to do and end up butchering their adaptations. Manga will always contain the raw intended details and events that the creator of the series wishes to be presented, and throughout the fantastic artwork and paneling, are able to convey a story in a much more impactful way in my opinion. Well, if I couldn't convince you, 
then there's nothing we can do.